So, Brains and whip and left hand, left foot in your stirrup and swing your other leg around his bottom. There you go, well done. So when you're walking, remember to keep your feet by the girth, because otherwise you're going to unbalance yourself and you're going to fall forwards and then that will put more pressure on his shoulders. There we go, that's better. And then your heels down. That's good. And just push on his walk a little bit more to put him into a nice active walk. Good. Okay, so you're going to push him on into trot now. There you go. And to make sure you're on the right trotting diagonal, sit for two. So you land on his outside shoulder so you'll be rising when his outside shoulder is lifting. There we go, that's good. And we change your trotting diagonal because there we go, that's good. <laughs> that's good, there you go. So you just need to, because you're tilting forwards a bit, so lean back, there we go, that's good. Okay, so you're going to push him on into canter, so sit and put your outside leg back. There we go, that was a really good transition. So you're sitting really nicely to his canter, so in the rhythm, that's good. So do you want to try and collect him a little bit? That's nice. And then push him on a little bit. That's good. There we go. And just remember, put your heels down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to pick up canter in this corner. So do sitting trot and put your outside leg back. There we go, that's good. Shorten your reins a little bit. There we go, push your heels down. That's nice. And just lean back a little bit and sit up. There we go, that's good. So, yep, shorter reins. Good. So we're going to do a walk to canter now. So to do that, you've got to collect up your reins a bit. There we go. And then really push him on and put your outside leg back. There we go, that was really good. Really nice. <laughs> so you're gonna do a 20 meter circle at A. There we go. So you've gotta make sure that he's not falling out. So you gotta push him out and if he's gonna fall in then you need to push him in. There we go, so he's falling in a bit at the outside, so remember just to keep him pushed out. That's better. So the thing we're going to improve on today is jumping. So we're just going to practice a simple straight jump. Okay, so do you want to pick up trot? There we go. Now make sure that you're looking at your jump. That's nice. And he gets quite frisky into them, so make sure not to let him canter. There we go, that was good. So, good change of leg. Okay, so pick up trot, and in the next corner, pick up canter. There we go. Shorten your reins a bit. Keep the pressure on the outside rein and kick. There we go, that was really good. So pick up canter in this corner. There we go. Shorten your reins a bit and lean back a bit because you keep leaning forwards and kick. There we go, that was really good. So we have raised the jump up because he was clearing them well and he started to get his stridings right and 
we think a bigger jump will help develop his jumping skills. Okay, so do you want to pick up Trot now? And at F, you're going to pick up Canter. There we go. Shorten your reins a bit. And try not to tip back as much. There we go. One. That was good. We have made this jump a little bit bigger because you have a competition come up and it's always good to practice the height you're going to do so you know that you're going to be able to do it correctly. So you're going to pick up Canter in your next available corner. There we go, shorten your reins a bit. Sit back and push forwards. That was good.